Hi everybody, this is Christian from Sin Tactics, and this is going to be a brief video tutorial to get your PS3 controller to work on your PC. Now, unfortunately, the PS3 controller does not actually function right off the bat once you plug it into your computer. So we have to do some third-party things using a program called Motion Enjoy. So I'm hoping by the end of this tutorial we'll be able to use the PlayStation 3 controller as a gamepad or the new Xbox 360 controller for those games that use the Xbox 360 controller only. We'll get around that. Okay, so the first thing I want you to do is to go to Google and I want you to type in Motion Enjoy with no spaces and it should be the first link there. Now this is the program we're going to use to actually get the PS3 controller to work. So from this site I want you to go to the download section and if you're using a 32-bit computer please download the 32-bit version but I'm using Windows 7 64-bit so I'm going to go use the 64-bit. So let me install that. Now I have to extract it first obviously. It comes in a zip format. Once that's done, I'm going to open up, and here is the install file. So let's install it. Yes. I'm going to put it in program files, that's fine. Okay, so now it's finished, so I'm going to plug in my PS3 controller before I actually run this. Just to make sure nothing goes wrong when I install the device drivers. Okay. So it's plugged in. Now some of you who just plugged it in for the first time, you're going to see a thing on the bottom right saying installing USB drivers. Now these aren't actually going to work. These are the ones that Microsoft put in there just to make sure your PS3 controller doesn't work because they hate you. So once that's done, make sure it's completely done, the Microsoft drivers. Then you want to run your DS3 tool. And let me allow it. And here it is. You're going to see something like this. Now. Luckily, if this is your first time opening it, the device manager plugs up or starts up automatically for you. So all you have to do is just load it. Just click the load button. Now it's gonna say something. If it's your first time using this, it's gonna say something really weird, like security breach or something. Do not worry about this. I guarantee you, it's not a virus. What it's doing is making sure that every time your computer restarts, there's third-party drivers that allow the PS3 controller to actually function. So that has to happen. Do not be worried, do not be afraid, it's perfectly normal. Okay, so install success, so that's great. Let's go to the quick start menu, and I want to emulate this as an Xbox 360 controller since most games these days will only do that. Now see how it says one game controller and this, this little bar keeps going over left and right? That means that it's actually functioning, so that's great. So let me just enable this again. I'm going to go to USB game controllers set up USB game controllers just to show you that it's actually working. So let me use the point of view here, up, down, left, right, here's the analog stick, here's the other analog stick, all the buttons are working. Great! So everything works. We have completed using uh, the tutorial for setting up a PS3 controller on your PC. I hope it was easy, I hope you didn't have any problems, but if you did, leave a comment below and we'll uh, I'll look at it and see what I can do.